in Vega platform, user interfaces are also called as channel interfaces. So these are all the, are the different channels through which users can interact with your application, through which users can use your application, through which users can create cases, solve their problems, communicate with your businesses. Portal is for web channel. Mobile is for mobile channel, digital messaging is for chat channel, email is for you can create a case, communicate or raise a service request through email, that is an email channel, this is Alexa. So here the lock symbol indicates that it is still not installed in your application, you need to enable some installations and certifications to be able to use it. So these are all the current channel inter interfaces. These are all already configured. The user mobile is configured. Mobile app is already available. Auditor portal, user portal are already available. If you see, there is a computer symbol. It means you can use it in the website, in the browser, in the PC, or in the desktop or laptop. As you can see, there is a mobile icon here. It means that you can use in a mobile device, Android or iOS mobile device. These are API. So, a set of REST services are exposed by your application. You can call them for, to know the status or you can update via an API API. So, if you see here, there are different sets of customers. For example, she is a very modern lady. She want to create a case by using, she want to create a case or update her policy details with the insurance organization by using a mobile app. Whereas he is an old aged person, he prefers updating the insurance policy details by calling the customer care representative and telling him the details. She is a middle aged woman and she likes to change her preferences or policy tenure. She wants to renew her policy or she wants to update dependents details in her policy or any such things by, by logging into her personalized website given by the company by logging in using her personal user ID and password into the website. So as you can see, she is using mobile channel, he is using call channel, he is using web channel, but their intent is the same to update their policy details or to renew their policy or to add more dependence data to the policy or regarding their insurance policies. So CSR is the operator who picks up the call when this old aged person calls him and so on behalf of his person he will open the he will run a service case to update the necessary details. So managers look if the CSR is doing the duty on time or not if there are any escalations they will take care and the manager also tries to improve the performance and increase the efficiency of the business processes. Territory managers uh, generally try to get uh, uh, new vendors onboarded who will be uh, present to facilitate the claim process. Auditors uh, are basically, they just run some reports on a web-based portal, basically the auditor portal to check um, periodically if there are any possibilities of fraud and other such things. In Pega platform, user interfaces are also called as channel interfaces. Different users require access to different application features. You can configure different personas and channel interfaces for, faces for that purpose. For example, if you see a healthcare application, patient and physician are the two actors and they perform different set of tasks. For example, patient can update their app schedule appointments, update their health records or check their previous health records, whereas doctors can review patient records, they can uh, prescribe prescriptions to the patients, add some follow-up comments for patients after office hours. So we have to define different personas for physicians and patients because they can see different channel interfaces and they have to uh, access different application features. So whenever we create an application, Pega platform provides one default persona which is users. Users are the case participants with a unique combination of channel interface, responsibilities, permissions and work routing requires differentiation from an existing persona. 
when you create a new persona pega platform creates default permissions and a work queue for the per persona you can modify these permissions and work queue and create and customize the channel interface if you need so for each stage you need to define the personas and channels and Uh, so basically personas are csr user you can add new personas as well like manager auditor test which we have created just now so under each persona again you can access the channels what all channels this persona has access to for example csr has access to only user portal say but a user has access to user portal mobile email channel multiple channels so you can add the different channels that a single persona has access to in the case designer landing page. In this way, we can associate a persona and channel. You can also go to the users, user management and personas to see what all channels a particular user have access to. So if you see auditor has access to auditor channel only. CSR has access to user portal. So this auditor channel is nothing but the auditor portal in current case. Thank you.